Okay, we're ready to acid test our encoder. I've got our encoder plugged into Acorn's encoder port. Uh, I'm powered up. I have a blue heartbeat light. I have a solid yellow on and a green on on the uh, ethernet port. Let's go into the into the wizard. Let's go into spindle setup. And it says spindle encoder counts 8,000. So that should be correct. This is a 2,000 line encoder. And in quadrature, we should get 8,000 counts per rev. So this is correct. Now let's turn it on. Spindle encoder, yes. Got to make sure we write the settings to CNC control configuration. And we say yes. Settings are saved. We exit. Now let's start up CNC 12 mil. Be patient here. Wait for the virtual control panel to come up. Okay, it's up. Now I'll show you where to go in and, and test to see if our encoder is working. We go into setup, we go into config. We have to enter the password. That's 137 is default. Hit enter. And we go to PID. All right, the spindle encoder is, is number five. One, two, three, four, five. And we, you see we have some counts there. So let me turn the spindle encoder. Okay, I'm turning it clockwise and it's counting down. I'm turning it counterclockwise and it's counting up. So the other thing also to look for, so the, the A and B channels are this count here. All right, one direction it counts up, and another direction it counts down. That's how the control knows the direction of the spindle. Now, go over, when you go over here, it's not an axis, so it's going to be marked no. But watch for this. There's, there'll be a little asterisk that pops up, and that's the Z marker. It's kind of hard to get there. You see it? I'll try and back up a little bit. There it is right there. So you see it blinking, I'm kind of rocking it back and forth. So one pulse per revolution, you'll see that marker. So it looks like our encoder is working. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a, let's put something on here that we can turn a little bit faster. I've got a, a little Bosch drill here, really like this thing. That's slow, that's fast. Well, let's, you know, I don't know how well we can. Oops, went the wrong way. So I'm spinning the encoder in the clockwise direction. And in clockwise, it is, the encoder is going in the minus direction. Now, hopefully you see up here, look at the spindle RPM. About 11.30. The drill is turning the encoder as I'm facing the encoder in the clockwise direction. Let me reverse the drill. Okay, there it says it's going in the positive direction. 1,030 RPM. And you can see the encoder counts are going down. So Facing the encoder shaft is going counterclockwise. Now let me show you something. Now let's say you need to change that direction so we'll shut down exit so we just go into the wizard spindle setup and all we gotta do is 
put a minus sign here. Write settings to CNC. Yes, settings are saved. Close it, go back in the mill. It's going to bark at us because we restarted the software without shutting down Acorn right here. Software exited, cycle E, stop, reset to continue. So let's go down here and do that. Let's go over here to setup, config, 137, enter. Let's go into PID. All right, now we're going to go counterclockwise. But look at the spindle RPM, it's in the negative direction. Let's change it back. We're going to go back to, we're going to escape, we're going to close out, and we're going to put it back. Go to the wizard, spindle setup, we're going to take the dash off, write it. Yes. Okay. Close it. Start mill. Reset. And let's just go ahead and turn it. So a minute ago we were, con we were showing negative numbers. We're going to go, we're not, we haven't changed the drill at all. It's still going to turn the Spindle encoder shaft counterclockwise. Now you see it's positive. And that's how you change the encoder direction. You just put a minus in front of the encoder count if needed. Otherwise you can leave it the other way if you're if everything's correct. Your your spindle is turning in the direction in the proper direction and CNC software is seeing it that way. So I guess all in all, this little uh Omron seems to work okay. Um, I'm not 100% certain that I would put a pulley on this without support. You know, the, in other words, you put a pulley on here and then you're belting it to your spindle one-to-one. -one. That's an awful tiny bearing. You know, you might want to create a, a shaft with bearing support on either side to hold your pulley and then um, a coupler between the encoder and the shaft. You can grip it on the bearing boss or you can bolt it to these three mounting holes and that'll uh, support your encoder. So um, again, it seems to work. It's a cheap encoder. How long it'll work, that yet remains to be seen, but uh, it works, fellas. So signing off for now.